Welcome to Defenders Wise. I'm Dr. Paul. Thank you for joining us today. This weekend I'm in Boston and this morning I came to visit Museum of Fine Arts, one of the top arts museums in the world. I would like to give you a tour of this museum and then give you some comments about how Western art evolved over the centuries. So follow me for this tour. This is Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Here I saw thousands of artifacts gathered from all over the world, Americas, Africa, Asia, you name it. I saw denarii and shekels, the coins used at the time of our Lord Jesus Christ. I saw different manifestations of Greek gods like Aphrodite, there are like 10 different statues of Aphrodite. Once upon a time, Greek and Roman gods influenced countless lives in the ancient world. Now they are residing in museums like this. And that is the power of the gospel of Christ. I saw great paintings by Christian artists. Let me show you a few. On their way to Egypt, Mary and Jesus, baby Jesus, took rest under the head of a pharaoh. One painting featuring Israelites gathering manna. And I like this painting, a family praying. How beautiful that is. Whole family, father, mother, children, all singing hymns and uh, with Bibles in their hands and praising God. I stopped at Bartolome Murillo's painting, The Flagellated Christ. Christ being beaten and lying on the ground and angels who look at his suffering with sympathy. Peter Paul Rubens, his painting shows how the Old Testament objects like the Feast of Passover and the Ark of the Covenant, they point us to their fulfillment in Christ. Thomas Cole shows us the tragedy of Adam and Eve being ejected from the Garden of Eden. The Christian painters put God, Christ, saints, angels in their paintings. They showed us an eternal dimension to life. They showed us Christian virtues like love, sacrifice, patience, self-control, and hope. You don't see those things in atheist painters. They showed us plants, trees, flowers, nude men, nude women, violence, and disorder. I saw some paintings by Picasso. They are so depressing. Look at the paintings of Rembrandt and then those of Picasso. What a difference. Look at Peter Paul Rubens and then Monet. What a difference. Rembrandt's woman is well-dressed and dignified. Picasso's woman is naked and disfigured. Giotto, Masaccio, John Van Eyck, Botticelli, Raphael, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Rembrandt, Caravaggio, Peter Paul Rubens, those Christian painters showed us God, Christ, angels, demons, heaven, hell, Bible and prayer. When we look at them, we think about eternal values, sacredness of life, sacredness of family, hope of heaven, fear of hell and the power of God. And take a look at these uh, paintings of modern artists. Edward Monet, Renova, Pesaro, Paul Cezanne, Picasso, Vincent Van Gogh, Degas. We don't see God or Jesus or heaven 
in their paintings they were painting nude women they would go out to a brothel bring in a prostitute pose for them for drawing and uh, then they would lie with this woman okay folks that is abuse of woman many of them got stds from those interactions vincent van gogh got syphilis and lost all his teeth he cut his ear and gave it to a prostitute so you say they did bizarre things and they are our artists they did their artworks sold for millions of dollars emily zola wrote a novel titled the masterpiece after closely observing the lives of several impressionist painters so in this novel we see a painter claude lantier who focuses on painting outdoors and he are uh, drawing on real people in real places he stays away from historical and religious subjects in his painting wobene he depicts a nude female figure in the front center and two female nudes in the background later claude moves to a rural place takes christine hallegrain with him and christine had to serve as the model for his nudes and she should also satisfy his physical needs they will have a son then claude loses his interest in paintings and drawings and he gets depressed and he loses his friends he inserts bizarre elements into his paintings then his female companion christine watches how the paintings especially the nude paintings destroy the soul of this artist their son dies the tragedy inspires claude to paint a picture of the dead body of his son the artist slides into more melancholy madness and finally commits suicide in front of his paintings folks that is the novel the impressionists were so enraged by this novel that many of them ended their friendship with emily zola ironically they never examined they never bothered to introspect their lives as depicted by zola they were living disorganized lives abusing drugs and alcohol abusing women contracting stds and committing suicides and i am saying those words with pain vincent van gogh was a christian missionary in his youth then he gave up his faith in god became a painter he shot himself in the middle of a painting and the heart breaking he cut his ear he was disfigured all his life he wanted someone to love him and he did not get that love he was lonely and sad it is tragic that he died without knowing and experiencing the wonderful love of jesus the amazing grace of jesus Jesus said out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh we can also say out of the abundance of the imagination the brush paints their imagination lacked eternity god christ heaven hell so they gave us these trashy paintings So as I walked in this museum I observed the degradation of art as the western artists moved away from Christianity towards secularism. Okay folks that's all for today please leave your comments subscribe to my channel also visit my website 
www.drpaul.org to learn more about this ministry and also to read articles i actually posted an exhaustive list of things on my website so check my website also that is www.drpaul.org thank you i will see you in next episode